The team at University of Florida has made some really outstanding, you know, and pioneering discoveries and contributions um, to the field. And we've learned a lot of lessons uh, about the brain, about how it operates, and actually about ways in which we can modulate the brain to improve diseases. We accidentally discovered that if we tickle an area of the brain, we can make one half of your face smile and make you euphoric and make you happy. We've, um, we've tinkered in the systems with not only regular tremors, like essential tremor and Parkinson disease, but taken that information and translated it to other disorders, other more complex disorders, like multiple sclerosis tremor, where the tremor is the most severe that we see in clinical medicine, and oftentimes patients have to sit on their hands. We've learned lessons about how we stimulate these kids and young adults with dystonia and we don't see anything and we go home disappointed, they go home disappointed, but only to um, understand that over time the brain begins to remodel itself and reshape itself and there's a very complex and plastic change that happens even in adults and so, so life is still going. I mean your brain is still plastic throughout your entire lifetime and so we've learned how to harness these things and we've been able to do really interesting things like taking um, cells off of the tips of the electrodes that we uh, implant for DBS and growing them and seeing real stem cells. Uh, we can take the brains of people post-mortem, immediately post-mortem after they die and we can culture out the different regions of the brain that are involved with what are called neurogenesis. So there are these neurogenic zones in the brain and so we can actually make collections of cells and so we no longer need embryonic, you know, um, transplantation therapy. And so the, the, the science has evolved and our understanding of the mechanisms of how these different areas are talking to each other, the reach with which we can now, um, you know, extend ourselves to help other people that have similar circuits and similar disorders has really changed over 10 years. And so we started out as very simple, you know, couple of simple guys, we worked on Parkinson, we worked on tremor, and now we do obsessive compulsive disorder, Howard Hughes disease, and depression, and cluster headache, and we help people with pain and other disorders, and epilepsy, and so we are learning that these circuits are important to a lot of different diseases and a lot of different disorders, which is a real lesson for us to make sure that we're looking at the world more broadly, and so when we see patients come through the door now, we no longer say, oh, we don't see you because you have X, we say, oh, this is interesting. Let's look at this. Maybe there's some aspect of this that we can help. And so it's a very rewarding existence uh, because uh, we keep an open mind, you know, and an open heart to, to the patients.